So you want to make a health bar like this in Unreal. Well in this tutorial we will cover just that and how to take damage slash heal. The first thing you need to do is to make a widget and we will call it W underscore player HUD. After that you add a progress bar to the HUD. Place it wherever you want and make sure to anchor it right. Where you anchor it is very important as the position of the progress bar is relative to the anchor. Which means that no matter how big your viewport is this or the size of your monitor you play the game on, your progress bar will always be on the same position. If you set this up the wrong way, your progress bar might appear off screen, depending on your configuration. In this tutorial, we will keep it on the top left, as we have our health bar over there. Here you can also change the color, and to test it visually, you can move the percent slider. Keep in mind that the percentage is a float value between 0 and 1 which you will have to remember in your code, because if you set the percentage on a value higher than 1 and you take damage, it might still appear that you have full HP, even though you don't. Feel free to pause the video here though, and refine the visuals of the hellbar. So now that we created the visuals of our hellbar, we can move over to the blueprint part of this video. So the first thing that we have to do is to instantiate the HUD in our begin play of the player character. The owner of the HUD should be the player controller. After that we have to make sure to add it to the viewport so it will be visible to us when we start the game. We will also save it as a variable in case we want to access this later. So now we have the hellbar showing up but no way of taking damage or healing it back. There are many ways to do this. But for the sake of the tutorial we will stick to something simple. First we make two variables, one for the player's max HP and the other one for the current HP of the player. We will put this under category to stay organized, which I recommend doing if you are working in a blueprint that has the potential to become quite big, like the player character. Put our max health to 100. Now we can either put the current health to 100 as well, or you can set the current health equal to the max health on the begin play of our character blueprint. This way, your health will always be full no matter what the value of your max HP is. And future you doesn't have to break your head over why the health bar is broke when you change the max HP. After that we will create a function called chain health, which we can reuse for both taking damage and healing. It will take a float as an input, which indicates how much your HP will change. You can just add the delta health to your current health, Make sure to not forget to clamp it before setting it as your HP, as your health cannot be more than your max HP or below zero. So after that we can just quickly call that function when pressing a key. So now we have a working health system for our player. You can test this by printing out the value of our current HP or putting in a breakpoint and looking at the value. Now all that is left to do is to hook all of this up to our health bar. So go to the player hood widget. Now you can do this two different ways, the first one is binding it to your progress. However keep in mind that this function gets called every single frame. Which for a hell bar is fine but keep in mind when you do this with a more complicated system that it might cause potential performance issues. The other option is to make an update health function in the event graph of our widget. But you will have to make sure to call this function every time when you change the health of the player. Which in our case isn't too bad as we can just put it in a change health function and always call that function instead of manually changing the HP. But it can become a hassle if you have to do this for every single variable of your HUD and can cause bugs more easily. Personally I wouldn't worry about it too much in this case and just go for the bind function as there is a saying, premature optimization is the root of all evil. But I just want to make sure that you guys can make an informed decision when doing this on your own. So that's it for today. You should be able to go in game and play around with the HP bar. Obviously there's a lot more that we can add such as post processing, screen shake, hull bar animations, particles, sounds and so on. Let me know what you guys want to see tutorial next.